We need more cowbell! Alright. It's a uh, late evening. And today we are celebrating uh, Mike McGraw taking in taking his new truck home. Getting ready to pull out of the shop. So hey, nothing ever goes as planned all the time. Um, but I wanted you guys to see this. I'm gonna put a link to the original video of this truck so that you can see it. Um, but it's so dark outside, I just wanted you guys to see it inside before we pull it outside and we'll do some night shots of it. And I think it turned out pretty cool. This one's red fire with like, uh, I can't remember the exact paint coat, it's a copper color. And you can see here, we broke it up with some silver on the Seminole line. So real quick, I wanna debunk the myth about um, Seminole striping and following the rivet line. The proper way to do it is to follow a level line as the hood on a Peterbilt, a long hood or a short hood, does slope. Okay, so if you look at the rivet lines and you look at the Seminole lines, you can see that the hood slopes downward. So just, just a quick little note for you, but I just wanted to see Mr. McGraw's truck as he pulls outside. So 280 wheelbase, it's got 54 inch stacks with the 45 cut miter tips, it, it does have a 3.5 inch drop, it's low pro 22s, and this one does have a MX-13 Packard engine in there, and he was specifically looking for this engine. One of the things you can actually tell is while the truck is running how quiet it is. Real quick, I'm gonna go down. So we did watermelon lights, three watermelon lights, or honeycomb lights, as Bobby would say. Um, you guys, you guys, I'll let you fight about it. I think they're watermelon lights. And the ones on top, those are honeycomb lights up there. So let's see, we did four on top. And then we also did the shine down lights with the smaller uh, three and a half inch fill panels and then we did the red on the back and then he also did his watermelon light torpedo lights if some call it up there Wayne Transports out of Minnesota. Nice simple lines, simple light kits, no drop visor on this one. There you go guys, follow up video. I'll put a link to the original truck before we did any upfits on it. If you have any questions, give me a call, 970-518-5520. Mr. McGraw, thank you so much for allowing me to work with you on this truck. We'll enjoy hearing all the tales from the trails. Stay safe everybody, talk soon.